Car chases in Los Angeles have become so common they don't make national news unless, of course, there is something uncommon about them. What journalists call a man bites dog story. Or in this case, a man hits dog with van while fleeing police story. As told tonight by Lee Cowan. Look at that pit maneuver. Perfect pit. It was one of those high-speed chases that seemed like all the rest in Southern California. Picking up higher speeds. Oh, there we go. Until out of nowhere came a little white dog. Oh, 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 oh! He hit a dog. He could have been worse, of course. A pedestrian had been in the path of that van moments earlier. But the one-year-old poodle mix, who sought refuge in his owner's bathroom, struck a nerve in a city that otherwise might have just changed the channel. His name is Gordo, and within minutes, he lit up social media. His hashtag, Save the White Dog, became a trending topic on Twitter. Cameras were there as Gordo was rushed to the vet, where Dr. Eric Stump couldn't believe his eyes. He's been incredible. I mean, he's handling that injury a whole lot better than I would. Gordo may still lose his hind leg, but he will be going home. He's done remarkably well. He's a tough little dog. As for that driver, boom, okay, this is going to be coming to an end right now. He and his female passenger were finally taken into custody on suspicion of vehicle theft, although few cared about them. It was Gordo who mattered. Donations to cover what could amount to at least $7,000 in care are pouring into the animal hospital, proof that, in this case at least, the City of Angels can live up to its name. Lee Cowan, CBS News. Los Angeles.